Hi there, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to session 8 of Microtech Canada's Toddler Tutorials. This video is part 3 of the setup of our MTCNA home lab network and today we're going to complete the wireless connection between the class access point and the trainee router as you can see on our network diagram. Following the address we assign to the wireless interface of the class AP, we first need to make a small configuration on our access point so that we can establish the physical connection between the class AP and the trainee router so that the former is able to receive a wireless connection from the trainee router. To do so, we'll connect to the class access point using Winbox and from the wireless menu on the left, we enter the settings of the wireless interface. Here in the second tab titled wireless, the minimum configuration we need is to set the wireless mode to AP bridge and type in the SSID of our choice. Also, by clicking on the advanced mode on the right, we'll define the radio name of this interface for easier documentation and troubleshooting. Don't worry if you're not yet familiar with the concept of radio name and what it does. We'll talk all about it when we get to module 5, that is the wireless module, down the road. Now is the time to connect to the trainee router with our computer through Winbox in order to make the necessary configurations for the other half of our wireless network between the class AP and the trainee router. We'll connect to the trainee router by following the exact steps we took for connecting to the class AP. And the first thing you need to do once you connect is to set the identity of the trainee router and rename its Ether1 and wireless interfaces just like we did with the class AP at the very beginning. Similarly, you'll also need to turn on the wireless interface by selecting the WLAN interface and clicking on the tick button here. Now, since we assume that the wireless interface is our WAN network and the first Ethernet interface is regarded as our LAN network, we can use the yellow paper icon here to add the relevant comments to our interfaces so that we facilitate troubleshooting in the future using these extra pieces of information. Next, we'll need to set up the wireless interface of this router so that we can connect to the class AP via WAN connection. To do so, you'll need to double click on the wireless interface and go to the wireless tab. As you can see, the wireless of this router is currently searching for a network. By clicking on the scan button, you can start using the automatic scanner of the router for the wireless interface. The router will then detect and show the nearby visible wireless networks. As you can see, the class AP wireless connection carries an ARB flag. ARB stands for Active Router OS Network Bridge. By clicking on connect, you can see that the trainee router creates a connection and as written at the bottom, it is connected to ESS. ESS stands for Extended Service Set. As part of an extensive reading suggestion, we recommend that you allocate a little time to read up on ESS as well as BSS, which stands for Basic Service Set. And similar to the wireless interface of the class AP, we will use the advanced mode here as well to define the radio name of the wireless interface on the trainee router. Once you click OK, you can see that an R flag, which means running, has now been added to the wireless interface. By using the new window tool on the left, you can make a simultaneous Winbox connection to the class AP. If you refer to the wireless menus of both devices and go to the registration tab, you can see that the R2 trainee router has registered a wireless connection to the class AP and the R1 class AP is showing a connection from the trainee router. And finally, by referring to the IP menu and the addresses submenu, we can assign an IP address for the wireless interface of the trainee router. If you remember, our class 1 network address was 10.0.0.0/24. That makes the address for the wireless interface of the trainee router to 10.0.0.1/24. We'll input the corresponding address for WLAN to class AP, and there you have it, an address has been created for R2's wireless interface. Well, there you go. This video was the third section of the MTCNA home lab network, and we have finished the wireless connection between the class AP and the trainee router. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments section. Also, we highly appreciate your feedback and hope that you've subscribed to our channel for the next and final part of this network design. Take care, stay tuned for our upcoming videos, and stay safe.